Hello and good morning, my friends, on this beautiful day in Florida. Woo. Ah, thanks for joining me. It's the morning here in Longbow Fee and Key. And as you can see from my clothes, it's chilly for here. Don't feel bad for me. So today I'm um, trying something new. We're doing it lengthwise, so hopefully you can see me. I'm going to keep an eye on it. And I'm going to work on some twists today, but start with uh, seated and work on our neck and shoulders, and then go into some twists and flow. So thanks for joining me. BethGoldstein.net heartspathhealing.com and if you would be willing to subscribe to my channel on YouTube I really appreciate it. Look forward to uh, some upgrade on this sometime soon. Alright so let's sit to start tucking your chin. I don't know if you can hear the waves behind me this morning but see if you can sort of mirror your breath to that tide going in and out. And if you can't hear it, then imagine it. Expanding your belly on the in-breath. Full breath into your chest so that you feel your heart expanding, your rib cage opening, the, your shoulder blades expanding. Feel that breath, move that breath up into your whole neck and your head. And then long breath out. Maybe you're making a sound or you can all make some sounds right now. So breathing in and lift and open and fill. And ha. Ah. You can make any sound you want. You're at home. <laughs> we all need to perhaps make some. So this morning, I know, I woke up with a little, a little stress or tension in my neck and shoulders. So let's just address that this morning for me. <laughs> so I'm going to start by moving my hat, but I can't actually see you. Take your thumbs to right at the back of your hairline, back of your head at your hairline, or where your hairline used to be. And find, there are a couple of spots. They're called gallbladder 20 also called the gateways to consciousness. So it's about an inch out from the center of your head and you'll find these little spots that if you do a little circle with your thumbs they're going to be sore. And that's where a bunch of neck muscle attachments are as well. So push up toward the ceiling or the sky and open up your elbows wide and open up your mouth to relax your jaw. And then as you exhale, just bring your elbows forward and tuck your chin. Try that one again. Push up toward the sky. Uh, and keep pushing and breathing. So they should be a little sore, but also notice where they refer to. So if you go up into your head, maybe into your eye. Take another breath. Open up your elbows. Lift your heart and tuck your chin, elbows together. And come back up. Put my hat back on. Ooh, now I can see you. You can see me. And hands on your knees and do a little bend forward, pushing your shoulder blades together. Ugh. And then come up and let's do a little twist. So take your right hand onto your left thigh and bring your arm up over your head Turn your heart so it's a little up and then lean over and breathe. And then to just make a little I'll add to this for your shoulder, bring your hand right behind your, your shoulder blade, between your shoulder blade, and keep breathing so your right arm's extended. Nice. And then both arms up. Try the other side. So swing your hand just next to your knee and the other arm over and look up. And then move your hand right between your shoulder blades. Take another breath here. And then come back. Open up your arms. Reach up for the sky. Clasp your hands together. 
and twist over to your left. Oh, just a nice gentle twist for your lower back and to your right. And then arms back behind you. And this time hold the back of your head and lift your chin up. And as you breathe out, elbows together. So we're doing a little cat cow here for your back. Breathe in and arch and heart up. Look up. And then elbows together. I'm going to come back a little further so that you can see me a little better that way. All right. Try it again. Heart up. And elbows together. And come all the way up. And reach up. And let's do that same thing other side. So take your left hand onto your right thigh, just next to the knee, and lean over. If you want to add to it for your shoulder, drop your hand right to your shoulder. And come back to center and reach. A little hard up. And hand to the outside. And lean over and look up. Drop your hand right between your shoulder blades. And both arms up. Clasp your hands together. Twist to your left. See how far over you can go? And twist to your right. And slowly bring your arms down. Reach them back up. And then bring your hands as wide as your knees so that your hands have little claws right in front of you. And rock a little side to side. <sighs> Just checking in with your hips. And then hands forward. Drop your forehead down. Each breath out, reach a little further. So you're stretching out your lower back and your hips. Take another breath. Reach a little further forward. Rocking side to side. If you can get one forearm down and then the other, do that. You'll feel a nice little gentle opening in your hips and your lower back. And slowly push yourself up. I just saw that in front of me is a lot, are a lot of little ants. So if I start having to move, I'll let you know. Okay, push your heart up and your head back. So that's option one, just push your shoulder blades together. Option two, lift up on your knees. Uh, all right, come back to center. Just waking up this morning, or I'm waking up this morning. And <laughs> reach out, yeah, this could be the evening for you. Do a little back bend. Drop your hands as wide as your knees, up on your fingertips and rock side to side. So you can get one shoulder all the way down your, to your knee, the other shoulder to your knee, and then reach forward, forehead down, drop down, one forearm down, and then the other. If you want to do a little stretchy twist thing, or just drop down, feeling the stretch in your knees. I like to rock side to side, oh, pushing one forearm down and then the other. I can really feel that in my lower back. Take another breath and drop your hands. Whoops. Get rid of the sand. <laughs> oh, bring your heart up. Head back. Shoulder blades together. That may be enough or lift up onto your knees. Take another breath and come all the way down. All right, a little roll on your shoulder. So some of us, myself included, might feel a little tension in your shoulders these days. I'll give you a little massage therapist clue here. So take your um, right fingertips, your middle and index or whatever ones, and place them right on the top of the highest point of your shoulder where your shoulder meets your neck. So right here. And see if you can feel, uh, you should feel a little tenderness there, right? So you're going to 
Find that muscle in your shoulder. Push down toward the earth. And then as you push down, you're gonna just look over your right and then your left. So it's as if you're giving your shoulder a massage by moving your head. You also get to feel that relationship you have between your neck and your shoulder. And come back to center and bring your head forward and back, so up and down. And then bring that shoulder up towards your ear and then down. Up and then down. Nice. Hopefully that muscle got a little looser. Try the other side. Push down toward the earth. I know it worked for me. <laughs> All right. Press down toward the earth. You're at that highest point. It's really, look around for that sorest place that you have, right where the neck meets the top of the shoulder. Press down, and then look over your opposite shoulder to your left. Don't forget to breathe, and right. Oh, feels pretty good. Right. Back to center, up and down. Try it again, up. Keep pushing with all the energy you have with those fingertips. Lift up your shoulder and pull it down. Ah. Wow, that felt good. All right. Bring your hands onto your shoulders and just do a nice little wing nut here. I don't know, wing nut. I don't know what I'm talking about. As if you could fly. <laughs> Bird. Whew. All right. And this morning, um, focusing on some twists for your lower back, so throughout the morning or afternoon, wherever you're at. So flex your feet, bring your hands out, and just rock a little side to side. Again, we're getting the same sort of crunchy, twisty alignment in your lower back here. So flex both feet, see if you can get your hamstrings on the ground. Take your left hand in front of you and your right hand back behind you. And feel that, that's sort of a gentle twist, not so much in your, in your thighs, but definitely in your lower back. And if you want to add to this, we're going to bring our arms up. And then both hands forward and lean forward. And drop that hand down, your right, left back behind you. Push up with your back hand, away with your front. And if, again, if you want to add to this, arms, one arm back, one arm forward. One arm. Go one more. Yeah, and all the way up. All right, both arms to the side. So keep them above your legs and lean forward. And we'll twist again. So this time take your left hand on the inside of your thigh, your calf, sorry, or your thigh, depending on how low you can go. And take your right hand onto your sacrum as you look over your shoulder. So you're pushing away at your calf and in at your sacrum. Take another breath. And try that other side. Push. Oh, align, awaken. Good. And hands behind you again. So same thing we just did with your sitting uh, in a tri I can't talk this morning. In a cross-legged position. So push your shoulder blades together. Lift your heart up. And that may be enough. Or extend your toes and lift your hips slightly up the ground. Breaths. Little arm strength in her hair, shoulders. All right, come back to center. Bring your right, left foot in. Left foot, your left, my right. And face your calf. So you're going to bring your arms up. Lean over halfway. Just hold that. So you want to flex your foot, tighten your quad. Take another breath. Then drop all the way down. Grab your foot or your calf. Pull yourself forward. Oh. 
another breath. And let's try a twist here. So take your hand to the outside of your calf, your left hand, and bring your hand up to your same hand over your shoulder. And all just a little variation of the same thing there, but I like this one. Really great the more you can push against that calf. All right, come back to center. And this time bring your hand on the inside of your calf. So here's option one and option two. Lift your arm up so that your hands are facing one another, your palms. Three more breaths. Or just keep your hand down. This one's a little harder. All right, come all the way up. Hands to your heart, both legs out. Flex your feet, come halfway down. So gravity's bringing you down here. Good. Take another breath. Come back. Up. Hands behind you again. Heart up. Feet extend. And if you want to lift, lift. If it doesn't hurt your shoulders. Otherwise, just push your shoulder blades together. Bring your heart up either way. So how much can you just be in this practice with your breath and nowhere else this morning or wherever you are? All right. So, let's see if I can remember what we did. <laughs> Both arms up. Do a little back there. And forward. Hold that. Push your shoulder blades together. Tighten up your quad. Take another breath, and when you're ready, come all the way down. Forehead towards your knee. If you want this little twist, take your right hand to the outside of your calf, left hand onto your sacrum, and lift over your shoulder, flexing your bottom foot. Different twists today. Okay, come down onto the inside of your calf and your right arm over. Option one. Flexing your bottom foot. Option two, arm up. So your palms are facing each other. Three more breaths. One more. All right. Push yourself up against your calf so you're not hurting your back. Both legs out. And push your hands against your inside of your calves as you bend your elbows. And rock a little side to side so you get one shoulder down and then the other. Oh, nice. And then bring your hands back behind you. And hard up. Toes extend. You lift your hips if you feel like it. One more breath. And come down. All right. Bring your feet together. Hold your feet, bring them toward your body. Take your elbows onto your calves and drop forward. Forehead towards your toes. And then if you want to add a little twist to this, take your elbow or your whole forearm onto the inside of your calf and take your right hand onto your sacrum or just behind you on your fingertips. the other side. So your elbow, your whole forearm is pushing on the inside of your calf. Your other hand's back behind you or pushing into your sacrum or over your shoulder. Good, one more breath. And holding your feet. Let's do a little cat-cow from this position. Lift your heart up. And then round and tuck. Push your shoulders together, lift your tailbone up. Grounding time. Bring your feet out in front of you and rock side to side, looking over your opposite shoulder. And then, if so, that's option one. Option two is lift your feet off the floor and do it. 
nicer having the softer surface here. Come on to your left butt cheek and do a little circle there if you can. Holding, find the hot spot. Option two is legs out to the side, only if that works for you. you might need a pillow under there. All right, come back to center. Swing to the other side. Hands are behind you. Do a little circle onto your hip. Tush. Find that hot spot. Just lean into it or bring your legs out. You decide. <sighs> All right, come back to center. Now bring your feet as wide as your mat and rock side to side, just nice and gentle. Use your shoulders here, really. Push them together toward one another. All right. And feet in front of you. Hands on your thighs. Just a, one more cat cow. Arch your back. Extend your arms. Pull your shoulders together. Ah. And up. And down. And feet in front of you. Before we do standing, let's get a little stretch in your hamstrings, so, and a twist, because we're focusing on twists today. Did I tell you that? I don't know. I may have. <laughs> I may have not. All right, lean forward and keep a flat back as you flex your feet. So I'm going to go this way. So I'm get those little ants. There we go. Leaning forward. So as you inhale, lift up, reach up. Little back bend, and as you exhale, arms forward, lean forward. Inhale up. Exhale forward. And because we're focusing on twists, yet another twist. I haven't lied. Take your right hand to the outside of your left calf, and bring your left right, left hand into your sacrum, and sit up nice and tall as you push away. And option two here is bring your arm back over your thumb. And option three is lift your right arm up. Three more breaths either way. Do the option that works for you. It's great, nobody can see you. So do what you need to do. You could be oh, making like big sounds. You could be twisting and shouting here. I might call it that. All right, try it forward again. Great, reach up, little back bend. Arms forward, lean forward. Another breath. And then drop your left hand to the outside of your calf. Right hand on your sacrum. And push it to your sacrum as you look over your shoulder. So that's option one. You're really pushing away with that left hand. Option two is bring your right arm back with your thumb. And option three, left arm up. And so that you're twisting. So my arms are sort of in a line as I twist. Looking over my one more and reach up slowly bring your arms down and then let's just do a little backward plank if you can so I'll give you options here hands in front of your right behind your sacrum bring your heart up and your chin up and then extend your toes and lift if it works for your shoulders into backward plank two more breaths And this time, grab wherever you can. It could be your calves, it could be your toes, and bend your elbows as you come forward. Rounding your back, letting your forehead further, to, bringing your forehead further towards your calves, your knees. And then hands on either side of you to push yourself up. Feet as wide as the mat, rock side to side, look over opposite shoulder. Maybe I'm just opening up my jaw as I look up because I'm finding my jaw is tight today. <sighs> okay, let me give you, before we stand, let's do a little jaw work. So just open up your mouth just to notice because I think we could all be a little tense right now. All right. Find your jaw joint. It's right 
front of your earlobe and just do some little circles there with as much pressure as you can handle with your fingertips. Notice if it's sore and where that pain, if it is sore, refers. It could go into the back of your head, your neck. Uh, and bring your fingertips right above your joint as you slowly open your mouth. Uh, glide your fingers down toward the ground, toward your jaw. Uh, like I'm tracing my jaw at the end. Try it again. It's a good time to make a sound. The, the shout part of the twist. Okay. Slowly open. Uh, Back to that spot, a nice little circle. Notice if one side feels more challenged than the other. And as you massage it, if it gets a little less, and if you have problems with your jaw, if you grind at night, which will eventually lead to problems with your neck, it might even bother your ears, try putting uh, wet heat on your jaw before you go to bed, just for like a minute make a huge difference. So when you do that, when you work your jaw and you put wet heat on, you remind your nervous system to relax. So it's sort of your unconscious getting the message. All right, now that you've gotten that information, we're going into a squat. So some of you can't do a squat. If you can't do a seating, uh, squat down, you can do a squat standing. So let's just start with this squat, pushing your elbows against your thighs. That's hold for a few. If a crow's in your practice, then do it. I know we've got a lot of levels here, so I'm not going to do that. But if you can do it, go for it. Either way, take three more breaths. Nice, really opening up your perineal floor here. Drop your hands down. And this time, there we go, wide open your arms and take your elbows right against the inside of your thighs and rock a little side to side. And then straighten out your arms, keep your knees bent, rock a little side to side. Hold your right. Bend both knees, bring your hands onto your thighs. Standing squat, bring your arms out to the side. And we'll do a twist here. So you're gonna look up, bring both arms out, look over to your right, and take your right hand onto your sacrum, left onto your thigh. Those thighs burning. All right, back to center, other side, twist. Hand on the outside and your sacrum. Good. Back to center. Drop down. Push your shoulder blades together. And then straighten out your legs. Whew. Reach for the sky. And do a little back bend. So drop your right hand down and lean over. There we go. And look up. Take a breath. And other side. making sure you can see me. And your legs are nice and wide, perhaps off the mat, and come halfway down. Push your sits bones away, and then bring your fingers all the way to the floor. And same stretch we just did, just bend your left knee. This time drop your forearms, and your forehead down. Both legs straight, bring both hands to the outside of your left leg and drop your forehead towards your knee. Swinging the other way. Making everything up here. Forehead towards your knee. And come back to center. So another twist. If you can't get your hands on the ground, which is understandable, grab yourself a book or a block. Come on up a little higher 
And I should have told you that at the beginning. I'm sorry. All right. I brought my books with me, but they're propping up the, the phone, so I apologize. So I can't show you. But it, either on the ground or on a book or bend your knees. Either way, you want your left foot hand flat and then your right hand on your seat. So if you can keep your legs straight, great. If you can't, bend them. And then option two, right arm up. Three more breaths. Uh, bend your knees, drop your left hand, right hand down. Left hand on your sacrum, straighten your legs if you're able to. And if you want to add, I can't do that with my shoulder, but you know the routine. Uh, one more breath. Bend both knees, hands on your thighs, push your shoulder blades together. And then slowly come up. Reach for the sky, clasp your hands together, do a little back bend, and then come to your heart, take a breath. So clasp your, keep your legs where they are, grab your right wrist with your left hand, push your shoulder blades together, and drop your left ear to your left shoulder. If you want to make it a little more intense, you can bring your hand a little higher so you can grab just below your elbow, or even higher still, just above your elbow, you decide. Take another breath, ear is close to the shoulder. Come back to center, try the other side. Pull your left wrist down, pull your shoulder blades together, and then drop your left ear to your left, right ear to your right shoulder. Uh. All right, a little shoulder roll, bring your feet together, and roll the whole body. Forward bend, and roll back. Forward bend. So I'm touching the ground, and then pushing the ground up. Bending and just sweeping my hands up behind me, and then pushing back up, just to wake up a little bit here. And bend, come on up. Reach for the sky, do a little back bend. Tighten up your quads, bring your hands to your heart. So we're now gonna go into a twisted prayer because we are doing our twist and shout version today. You can be shouting out there whenever you need to. <laughs> All right, feet together. See if you can touch your ankles and your toes. Maybe even touch your knees. And we're starting here with a balance posture just by being in this type of mountain. So pushing your toes down into the ground, heels down, arms out, holding for a breath, reaching up, nice wide arms, and then bending into chair pose. Looking up, I love to, every time I have my arms open and my heart wide, I'm trying to remember what I'm grateful for. Oh, for me, this beautiful day, the sun, all the elements of nature that are surrounding me, and if they're not surrounding you in this moment, they are, even if you're inside. And if not, certainly in your memory. And I'm certainly grateful for all my friends and loved ones. All right. Bring your hands to your heart and drop down. So you're gonna take your right elbow onto your left thigh and glide it down so you're pushing your right hand on top of your left. That's the twist, the real, the, the dynamic push here. The other option is for that twist is drop your, your right arm down, push your tricep in, take your other hand onto your sacrum or up to the ceiling. I can't do that with my right shoulder, but you know what I mean. Two more breaths here. All right, straighten your legs, fingers down. Forehead towards your knee, bend your knees, swing your arms back behind you. Push the ground as you lift up, do a little back bend. To your heart. Feel your heartbeat and bend. All right, left elbow on your thigh, 
push it to the outside, push it or right on top of your left, do your elbows up and bend. So the more you bend, so you can get your knees level, the hard part. And option two here, push your tricep in or have your hand on your sacrum. Three more breaths. One more breath. All right, straighten. Bend your knees. Swing your arms back behind you. Reach up for the sky. Do a little back bend. And bring your hands to your heart. So I'm going to disrobe here. Stay in your, in your mountain pose. Or reach up for the sky while I'm disrobing. If you can see my Wellfleet shirt, all my Cape Cod friends. All right. So come up to. Thanks for that. It was getting a little hot. All right. So come up to the tops of your mats. Whew. Drop your left ear to your left shoulder, pulling your right shoulder down. And the other way. Oh. And a nice big shoulder roll. Using your whole body. And a little side to side. Whew, waking everything up. Shake out your hands, your wrists. Come this way. Bring, uh, ground your left foot. And bring up your right and just do a little circle with your ankle. So see if you can get this left side super heavy. And then the other side. So drop your right ground first. Get your whole right side heavy. And then lift up. Do a little ankle roll. All right. Now back up to the tops of your mats. Pushing all four corners of your feet in. Arms out to the side. Reach for the sky. Do a little back bend. And if you can't see the sky, imagine it. I'll just describe it to you. It's really sharp blue this morning. And arms out to the side. Halfway down. While you're halfway down, before we go down, bend just to your right knee. We're going to do that little tw a little twist. So you're going to take your left hand, um, right hand down to the inside of your thigh. Or on your sacrum. Straighten your legs, arms out to the side. Bend just your left knee. Take your left forearm like on the inside of your thigh and your right arm up. So you get a hip and a uh, twist at the same time. Did you like this one? I sort of made it up to there. All right, bend both knees. Swing your arms back behind you. Lift all the way up, all four corners of your feet. Nice and good. Oh, and as you exhale, you're just going to make a little sound. <sighs> breathe in, up. Breathe out, down. <sighs> breathe in, up. Breathe out, down. <sighs> so the shout part, do a little back bend. Arms out to the side. Come halfway down. And then all the way down. And bend both knees. So your belly's on your thighs. You're going to spring your right foot back. Left foot comes to center, and you're going to swing all the way up into a standing lunge. Okay, so you're on your back toes, left legs in front, and remember we're focusing on twists today, so we're going to bend your elbows and come over to your right, so you're coming forward, and then keep your elbows bent forward on the sand, sorry. And Again. Inhale. Exhale. Now stay here and take your right hand onto your thigh and your left hand onto your sacrum. Look over your left shoulder. And option two is left arm back. Right arm forward. Either way, three more breaths. You're on your back toes. 
man reach up. Do a little back bend. Drop your hands on either side of your foot. Come into plank. Ah, three breaths. One more. And slowly down, our knees, chest, chin. Ah, little baby cobra. Push those toes in and then straighten out. Use your legs to support you. Look over your left shoulder. Take a breath. Come over your hold. Take a breath. Up on your knees. Lift to downward dog. It's a little sandy, sorry. Oh, and there goes the hat. Oh. I feel so fortunate to get to look at this world upside down right now. The beautiful blue sky is the earth. The sand is the sky. And the ocean sort of in between. So how can, what do you imagine seeing the world? The world is upside down right now, but you can always change your perspective. I guess that's what I'm saying. So just bend your right knee for that twist of your left elbow. And your left knee. Straighten both legs. So stay in your downward dog. If you want to add a little something to this, you can take your right hand onto your left calf. Left your dog there. That's a little twist there. Only if it works for you. And right hand down. Left hand onto your, the outside of your calf. Look through your right arm. Bend your knees. Take another breath. And then bring your right right between your hands. Sorry to get my hat back on so I can see. So we're back to standing lunge. This time you're on your left toes. Your right toes are super grounded. Hope everybody's with me. Arms up. Push your shoulder blades together. And you're gonna inhale. Come to your left, exhale, swing to your right, inhale, left, it creates a little balance too, exhale, right. And we're going to keep those twists going, take your right hand onto the outside of your calf, left hand onto your sacrum, look over your shoulder. So that's option one in your twist, option two, bring your right arm back, and your left arm forward, you decide, three more breaths. The deeper you go, the deeper the twist. Good, one more breath. And reach up. And drop down. Back to plank. Three breaths. Drop your knees. Chin, chest, or slowly down. And lift baby cobra into fall. Push your thighs and your toenails into the ground to support that back bend. Drop your shoulders. Look over your left shoulder and your right. And then up on your knees and down with up. Just notice what you're seeing upside down. Push your shoulder blades together. To soften your heart. And three breaths. And then drop down onto your knees. Hands are right underneath your shoulders. And we'll do a little cat cow here just to push your shoulders together, lift your tailbone. Pull your shoulders apart. Push them together. And pull them apart. And then we're going to do a little stretch for your shoulders before we keep twisting and perhaps shouting. <laughs> Drop your left forearm across your body. Reach with your right fingertips and hold back on your hips so that you stretch out your right shoulder. 
you want, you can look through your armpit. And then try the other side. Right forearm across, reach with your left, pull your hips back. Maybe look through your left armpit. Oh, stretch out the left shoulder. Right. So back to all fours. Middle finger faces forward and just do a nice big circle around. And we are going to go on to your backs. And before we fi finish twisting, since that's the focus of today, we'll do a little work on your core because, you know, I can't help myself. But maybe with a little twist, okay? So come on to your backs. Hopefully you can see me. If you can't see me, because I can't see you, then listen to my words. It's Moms say, right? This is my dad's. My words. Okay. Just to start, we're gonna inhale, push your sacrum down. Arms are at your sides. Exhale, flatten your back and lift. It's like a little cat cow. And actually, we are gonna. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna create. We're gonna have a twist with core work. So there you go. So push your sacrum and lift your tailbone and then come up, elbows forward.